Welcome to our step-by-step -step walkthrough of the process to install the RBC mobile app. Before you begin, make sure you've already signed up for online banking. You will need your RBC Royal Bank client card or credit card plus your online banking password. Start by opening the text messaging app on your phone. Then click on the blue message button at the top. In the address field, type 722722. And in the message field, type RBC, and then press the green arrow to send. Remember, your standard text message rates will apply. A message will come back with a link. Tap on the blue URL, www.rbc.com forward slash RBC app and a new screen will appear where you can download the app. Tap on Get to begin installing the app on your phone. Once you see the RBC mobile app icon on your phone, tap on it to launch the app. Enter your client card or credit card, then your online banking password and then press sign in. For your first time signing in, you may be asked one of the security questions you set up when you enrolled in online banking. Enter the answer to the question and tap continue. From here, you'll be given a brief introduction to features of the app and in which you can review or skip. Then you'll be ready to begin using the RBC mobile app. Welcome to this step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to make an Interac e-transfer with your mobile phone. Before you begin, make sure you've already downloaded the RBC mobile app and signed in. Once you're signed in from the home screen, tap on the envelope icon with Move Money at the bottom. On the Move Money screen, tap on Send an Interac e-transfer. Once you're at the Send Money screen, Tap on the arrow to the right of Select Account, and a list of your accounts will appear. Tap on the one you want to send the e-transfer from. Next, tap on Amount, and a numeric keyboard will appear so you can enter the amount you want to transfer. Pause this video to do that, and when you're done, tap on Done in the top right corner. Now. Tap on Select Recipient. If you've never sent an e-transfer before, you'll need to tap on Add to enter the recipient's contact information. Every time you send an e-transfer to someone, they'll be added to a quick access list, like the one you see here. Just tap on the arrow to the right of the person's name. If you've entered the email or phone number of your recipient, you'll need to tap on the arrow to the right of Notify Recipient By, and then tap on your preferred way to notify them. If the recipient has not enabled auto deposit, you will be prompted to set up a security question and answer. If you need to do this, pause this video and follow the instructions on your phone. you have the option to include a message with your e-transfer. Tap in the message area and a keyboard will appear. Pause this video now if you want to include a message, then tap on Done in the top right corner of the keyboard. If you do not want to add a message, simply tap on Continue. Finally, review all the details of your e-transfer and tap on Continue. If you need to change anything at all at this point, tap on Edit, or if it all looks good, tap on Send Now. Your money has been sent. A confirmation screen will appear and a record of your e-transfer will be available in the History tab in the Send Money section. Welcome to the step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to pay a bill through the RBC mobile app. Before you begin, 
make sure you've already downloaded the RBC mobile app and signed in. You will also need to have the bill that you'd like to pay handy. Once you've opened the RBC mobile app and signed in, tap on the Move Money envelope icon at the bottom. From the Move Money screen, tap on Pay a Bill. If you've paid this bill before, you may see the payee listed at the top of this screen under Existing Payees. If you haven't paid this bill before or you don't see the name of the payee, tap on Enter Manually in the bottom right hand corner. You will need to repeat this step for all new payees. From the Pay Bill screen, tap on the arrow to the right of Select Account and a list of your accounts will appear. Tap on the account you want to pay the bill from. Next, tap on Amount and a numeric keyboard will appear so you can enter the exact amount of the bill you'd like to pay. Pause this video to check the exact amount of the bill before entering it. When you're finished, tap on Done in the top right hand corner. Next, tap on the arrow next to Select Payee and a list of your existing payees will appear. If you've paid this bill before, you should see the payee there. If you haven't paid this bill before, or you don't see the name of the payee you need, select Add. You should now see the Add a new payee screen. Tap on Search for a payee. Now you can search for the company you wish to pay. Begin typing the name of the company. You'll see the names that match your search start to populate on the screen. When you see the payee you're looking for, tap on it. Next, double check that the payee name matches the company name on your bill. Here, you can enter a nickname for the payee. For example, Energy Bill, to make it easier to find them next time you pay your bill. This is optional. Next, you'll need to enter your account number. Pause this video to find the number on your bill then enter it. When you're done, tap on Save. If you tap on the little question mark next to the company name, you'll get some additional information on the length of the account number for that specific bill. You'll now see a summary of the payee information. Take a moment to review that information. If everything looks good, tap on Save. If you receive an error message, Pause this video. Double check that the company name and account number are correct. Then once again, tap on Save. Great, you've added a new payee. This payee will be saved and easy to find for any future payments. They will be automatically added to the To section for this bill payment. Now you will need to decide when you would like this bill payment to be made. If you want it to be made as soon as possible, you don't need to do anything more. Finally, is this a one-time payment or do you want to set it up as a recurring payment? If it is a recurring payment, tap on Frequency and choose how often you would like this bill to be paid. When you're done, tap on Continue. You'll now see a summary of your bill to be paid on the screen. Pause this video to make sure all the details are correct and match the information on your bill. If everything looks good, tap on Pay Now. If something doesn't look right and you need to make a change, tap on Edit or repeat the previous steps. Great! Your bill payment has been made. A confirmation screen will appear and a record of your bill payment will be available in the History tab. You can quickly access that tab by tapping on View Past Payments.